Hi everyone, it's Mikey with Chasing Donnie Baseball. Welcome to our 1982 Topps Wax Box Break. This was a pick your pack break. Uh, we are going to open this tonight, all 36 packs. We have uh, every pack was sponsored uh, by one or more persons, so uh, we're good to go on that. And at the end of this break, uh, after I open pack 36, we do have another free giveaway. Uh, this time I've decided to give away kind of a little uh, mixed box of kind of blaster boxes, retail boxes um, of my choice. And I'll show those to you at the end. You can kind of see some of the background there. I got a Stars and Stripes. I got a Topps uh, 2017 Series 1, a Donruss 2019, and a Topps 217 Update Series blaster box. So anyway, I'll give those away at the end. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, open this sealed BBCE box. So first off, let me just take a quick look at the box with you. Um, might be familiar with this, uh, the logo on it. Uh, it's a very familiar box if you uh, remember these packs back in 1982. Um, let's see if I can find in the back here. We're of course looking for two main cards, two main rookies in this card. The first being of course Cal Ripken Jr. and the second Lee Smith. I'll get to that in a minute, but let me just show you the back of this so you understand what uh, BBCE is all about. They are the Baseball Card Exchange in California, and what they do is they take boxes like this, old wax boxes um, and the packs, and what they'll do is they'll authenticate them, meaning they will uh, check them thoroughly to make sure that the cards have never been tampered with, like the packs never been opened and the good cards taken out, etc. And when they're done with that, they put their little seal of approval up here, and therefore it goes out into the market for sale. These boxes are a little bit more expensive than say if you were going to buy a, um, you know, an unsealed one or a non-authenticated one, and that goes for good reason. I mean, you are getting uh, a genuine pr uh, product here. In other words, this box has never been tampered with, so. Hard to find that nowadays, but anyway, let's get into it. And in the meantime, I'll talk about what I was uh, the rookies were looking for. So listen, Calgary Pin, of course, is the staple of this 82 set. We all know that. That's the rookie we want. That's the rookie we, everybody wants. Um, but the Lee Smith rookie is, is 1982. And let me tell you something. That card right now is hot. I hate talking when I'm opening this um, wrapper because BBC puts their own shrink wrap on it and it's quite loud, so I'm not gonna talk over this. Let me just quickly get this wrapper off. Like I said, quickly. <laughs> quickly in my own world. Okay, there we go. Nice. Out. Try not to. Bend the corners on this, okay. Let me just slip this off. There we go. As you can see, there goes the label. Mission accomplished. Dead in the garbage. All right, here we go. So we are looking for the Calvary pin, uh, Lee Smith, like I said. If you go on um, PSA, maybe I'll include a link at the bottom uh, in the description, but. PSA right now has the Lee Smith uh, Gem Mint Rookie. Like if you get a graded 10, it's actually more than the Cal Ripken. That just shows you how A, popular it's become, and um, B, how hard it is to get. So we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe we'll find it. <laughs> I don't make any guarantees. Let's go over the team list right here of all that bought. As you can see, I have four columns. Because what I do is I break the rows up. Make sure you see your name on there. Sorry if my thumb's in the way. All right. And I'll have each pack individually uh, numbered and have your name on it. So what you're going to see here is my little state-of-the-art graph here. One, two, three, four. That just shows you how I do it. So top left is one. Top right is two. Bottom left is three. Bottom right is four, okay? So that's just to get that out of the way so you understand how I'm doing this. And then when I take these these um, these packs out, I, um, I'm gonna do one row at a time. 
in, in its entirety. So I have to take a few packs out um, so I don't get out of, get them out of order and I don't damage the corner. So just bear with me while I get these individual packs out. Excuse my arm. Let me put these down and get the rest out. Okay, one, two, and one more at the bottom here. Come on, guys. Help me out here. What a boy. This guy does not want to come out. All right, there we go. All right, eat the bottom pack. Here we go. Got him in order. Get the put the keep the box over here. These are the bottom three. And these packs go on top. All right, we'll take a look at this pack now. Now oh, they finally got them open. So this is the first nine. Okay, let's take a look at the pack. It's a really nice looking pack. I mean, it's a bright red, hard to miss. 1982. What was a giveaway back then? 1982 uh, album, some sort of album giveaway. Call it a checklist, but okay. So let's go through the. Let me get all the individual packs out here so everybody knows when their turn is up. Okay, we are all squared away. And here we go. So pack number one, Adam B. And I have some. Um, one touch is ready to rock and roll for that. Uh, let me lower this camera a little bit. Bear with me so we can see the cards easier. I don't have to lift them up so high. Uh, there we go, guys. And I'm just going to lower this a little bit. There we go. Okay. This way. Sorry for the shake for the camera. But I just want to make sure you guys can see, see everything. On the camera. Okay. Again, Adam B, this is your pack. Let's go through it. Pack number one. And these are definitely, definitely sealed. Which is great. You can tell that you're opening this pack for the first time ever. Just like if it was on the shelf in a store in 1982. Okay. We'll go over the design of this pack. This is one of my favorite designs. Um, ever by pack by uh, tops, and we'll get this is a gum pack, so we will carefully remove gum. Can't promise that we won't have some gum stains, but we'll get to that. Hopefully, it's not on a good card, a valuable card. All right, here we go, guys. Terry Mumphrey, Adam R is a Yankee fan. Oh, this is Adam B. I'm sorry, Adam B. My bad. Adam R is next. So this is Adam B's pack. It's right on the list, so I'll show you. Just so you don't think that I'm messing up the list. It says Adam B on the, the sheet that I made. Oh, Carl Fisk. Look at that card. That's beautiful. Hall of Famer. White Sox. Great card there for you, Adam B. Very nice. That's in really great condition, too. I mean, this is mint. Mint, mint, mint. Let's see the back. Yeah, the back looks great. Back looks terrific, so. Good shape with that card. All right. Let's finish this off. Nolan Ryan, there you go. League leader card. Or no, this is a Houston Astro team card. There you go. Cannot go wrong with a Nolan Ryan on any card. Williams, Raleigh Fingers, it's a league leader, Bruce Suter, another Noel Ryan highlight card, very nice, Adam B, this is a great first pack for you buddy, and that is Mint, beautiful, pitches fifth career no hitter, let me finish with seven or eight, can't remember now, seven or eight, someone help me out with that, it's a Padre, and there we go, that was a nice pack, Really nice pack. So good job, Adam. I'll get that in your back here.
All right. So yeah, the design of the card is pretty cool. I like the the lines on the side. And if I remember the they had the uh, I guess they didn't really call them inserts back then, but the series they had in this this um, set was called the uh, In Action cards. <clears throat> in Action. I'm sure we'll hit a few of those. So I will uh, I'll point them out once we hit it. And we're on to pack number two. And now this is Adam R. So I apologize, get my Adams mixed up. Okay, so this is Adam R. All right, buddy? And Adam's one of our MVP Patreon members. So thank you for that, Adam, as always. And Adam is the Yankee fan. I'm not sure, Adam B., you've been in a few of our breaks so far. I'm not sure what your your team is, though. Maybe you can leave me a comment let me know. I'd like to know that because you have been in a, few, um, in a few of these breaks. So I'd like to be able to call out when you hit a card on your favorite team, if you don't mind. That goes for all of you. If this is your first break or whatever it is, my Patreon members, I know all your your uh, favorite teams. But not sure with some of you that have been here for the first time, of course. And even some of you like Adam B have been in a few of them. If you let me know what your favorite team is, that really helps me. I'm going through these. It makes it a little bit more exciting for me, at least. I know for you, too. So here we go. Pack number two. Adam R. Lee Mazzilli. And Jones. Bill Matlock. Jack Clark, Joe Bettini, Garth Orge, remember Garth, the Blue Jays, now this is a little, uh, oh, mini stickers in this, that's right, I think we got a sticker in the first one, I'll have to go through that, Adam, B, I pre apologize if I missed that, but Cliff Johnson, I could tell right away, yep, remember Cliff Johnson, but I forgot about these, these are sticker cards, so that's cool, we'll throw them in with the packs, Leo Lopez, Jerry Kuzman. Jerry Kuzman's on the, uh, I believe, the Nolan Ryan rookie card in 68. The other uh, rookie on that. This is, used to be a really hot card, I remember, back in 82 or 83. Steve Sachs rookie with Mike Marshall, Ron Renneke. Yeah, this was a pretty hot card back then. Still cool card. Nice rookie card from Steve Sachs. And you're an Aiken fan, so that would be cool for you, uh, Adam. Billy Smith. Gene Garber. Gary Matthews. Dave Stewart, that was another pretty hot card back in the mid-80s. And I think that was it, right? Larry Bender, yep, yeah, okay. So that was a pretty cool pack, Adam. All right, let me get that in there for you. So, so far, all I can tell you is that the condition of these cards is terrific. Really terrific. Let me get this in here. They are absolutely mint. The corners are really sharp. Uh, you know, maybe some of the centering on a few of the cards, but you'll, you can take a look at that yourself when you get them. But they are definitely in good shape. Let me get the sticker in there, and let me seal this up. I'm just taking a little extra time tonight to seal these up. And this way, uh, you know, they come from right from the pack to your doorstep. Okay, so there's no uh, no handling in between. The only time I'll handle any card in between is. Um, you know, if you have a, uh, if you get a Hall of Fame or something like that, I'm going to go back and put them all in, uh, proper, you know, top loaders, things like that. So, and of course, like the Ripken, we, when, when we hit a Ripken tonight, being very optimistic, early Smith, um, you know, this is pack number three, then I'll have, uh, one touches ready for, for those guys. All right, here we go. This is pack number three, and this goes to Stephen S., Stephen S. Pack number three. So good luck to you, Stephen. See if you have the Ripken, the Ripken touch or the Lee Smith touch. Either one of them. Or any of the Hall of Famers will take any of those, right? Pack out of the way. Okay. Let me get the gum off the back. Always hoping the back card is not a valuable card. So far, we're three for three on the gum, not affecting any value of a uh, big card. And here we go, pack number three. Let's see what we got for you. Willie Wilson. Dan Petrie. John Littlefield. Willie Randolph. Player card. Some of you younger guys only remember him as like a coach or a manager. Dwight Evans. And a great player, great Red Sox. 
And let's see, this is the Braves, but you got your sticker card is. Is that Lloyd Mosby? Yep. Hmm, doing pretty good with these. Lloyd Mosby. Put that down here. This is the Braves Future Star. This had Steve Bajorzi and Brett Butler. This is a really good card back then. It still is. Brett Butler is a pretty good card. So that's a nice rookie card right there. I forgot about that one, actually. Didn't name that at the beginning. And batting leaders. And Ray Knight. I'll turn this over. Oh, man. Every time I see a Future Star card, oh, my heart drops. Because the Cal Ripken Jr., as you know, is a Future Star card. So, boy, oh, boy. Oh, yes, that's a great card right here. Carl Yastrzemski. This is a really nice card. It is mint. Mint, mint, mint. A little off-center, but the corners and the color is beautiful. So that's a nice, nice card for you, Steven. Really nice. If you look on um, PSA, that's a, a really valuable card. So good for you. Okay. That is it. Yep. That's our... Oh, wait. Did I go through the... Yeah, that's about last card. Okay, get that in your pack, Steven. Congratulations on that pack. It's not too bad. I like that Brett Butler uh, rookie. I forgot about him. It's a really nice card. I don't think I have that, actually. I definitely don't have that in my collection. I have an 82 set that I put together on my own. So I have that uh, as a, in the set, but I don't have it like as an individual card. Okay. So Steven asks pack number three. Get that sealed for you. There we go. Pack number three is done. We move on to pack number four. And this is Chris W. I think Chris W. Pack number four. I think you got like the next three packs in a row. Four, five, and six, I believe, are yours. So we will get through that for you. All right. So far, a couple of Hall of Famers. Got a couple of league leaders and team cards with no Ryan on them. That's pretty cool. But we will continue to chase Mr. Ripken Jr. and Mr. Lee Smith. Okay. Here we go. Let me get the gum off the back. I'm always afraid to look at that gum card. Nope. We're okay. I'm always afraid of that. Peel that gum right off of Cal Ripken Jr. Ugh. Been my worst nightmare, but what are you going to do? Okay, here we go. Moose Hass. I remember that card. Fernando Valenzuela. This is a second year card. Certainly not as valuable as his first one, but still a good card. He was still hot in 82. Nothing like 81, though. But that 82 card was... I remember everybody wanted that one, too, when the set came out. Just based on the uh, how hot his first card was in 1981. Okay, this is our sticker card, your sticker card, Dennis Leonard. Okay. There we go. Nice in action, Carl Ostremski. This is what I was talking about, the car in action cards. Just like a you know, early insert, if you will, back in the day, before inserts were inserts. And they just give you like a highlight, all-star highlights, championship world series, things like that. Um, but yeah, Carl Ostremski is an all-time great. So that's a great card for you. Good job, Chris. Bob Welsh. Joe Ferguson. Oh, these are California Angels with a Rod Carew on it. Team leader card. Another team leader. Blue Jays. And that's Mark Millard. Okay, yep. All righty. So let me get that with your sticker, your Dennis Leonard sticker. Go in here. So the Carl Yaz, that's a nice card. Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski, of course, finished with 3,000 hits. Okay. And Yaz, correct me if I'm wrong, and a Red Sox fan, I'm sure will, I think Yaz took over for Ted Williams, right? I believe. Okay, pack number five. Again, like I said, Chris W., you're up again. Five and six is yours, so we'll just go through it for you. Almost finishing up the first row. All right. Open this nice and easy here, taking the gum off and checking the back. 
And we're safe. We're good. We're good. Okay, man, that gum hits the ground. It's like rock. <laughs> 1982. Okay, here we go. Jim Dwyer, Gary Maddox, Roy Howell. Remember that card? Brewers. Glenn Hoffman, Joe Rudy, Gary Ward, Mark Bomback. Don't remember Mark Bomback. Right, your sticker card is Ted Simmons. There you go. It's cool. And there we go. Turn it over. Indians League leaders. Burt Blylevin's on there. Greg Minton, Tippy Martinez, Rob Wolfham, another Red this is the Red Sox, Carney Langsford, Mike Torres, League Leaders, Mike Sosha, that's a cool card. All right, and that is your second pack there. I like this Ted Simmons card. I think the Stadium Club, um, there's a Kristen Yelich card. In the uh, new stadium club, I think he's wearing this throwback uniform. This is pretty cool. Anyway. A little bit of useless information there I just threw at you. I'm always good for that. A little bit of useless information. <laughs> I try. Alright, moving along. Let me get this sealed up for you, Chris. Nice and sealed. From the pack. From the pack to my hands to your hands. How about that? Nothing in between, which is cool. There's no, like, this pack has never been touched um, after it came out of the factory. That's what I love about these BBC um, boxes. Pack 6, Chris W. Is that when you really think about it, like, this is... Came out of the factory. You know, Tops cut the cards, put them in the packs, and then they were never touched by a human hand. Again, until I open this pack. That's really cool. At least it is to me. That's why I love opening wax packs that have been authenticated. The idea that they're so old, they've never been opened, never been touched. That's why I think these breaks are so exciting for me to do for you guys. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the gum card and hope and pray that it was... Yep, we're safe. Okay, there we go. Ron Hodges, there's a mitt for you. Lonnie Smith, Chris W, I'm not sure. Ooh, here we go, Johnny Bench. A nice card here by Johnny Bench. Very nice. Little couple watermarks on there, I guess. But nothing too bad, It's the corners are beautiful. Look at that, the color is really nice. The back is perfect, perfect. So this is a beautiful, beautiful Hall of Fame card. Another really, um, you know, in PSA, if you go to there, Gem 10 is, is up there. Even as, you know, 9 and 8s or whatever. Cecil Cooper. Randy Martin. Silvio Martinez. Ron Guidry, the Gator. One of my favorite cards. One of my favorite players. Bucky Dent. That's a cool card. All-star. Unless you're a Red Sox fan. You don't like that card too much. And, oh, the sticker dropped out. I'll, I'll show it at the end there. Ooh, a Pete Rose highlight card. That's a cool card. Nice. Getting some good cards in here. 1981 highlight. Sets NL career mark for hits. Yep. On his way to the all-time. There it is. The all-time record. 3,631. This is for the NL record he broke. Yep, damn usual. Broke his record. Incredible. Also, just tells you how great of a hitter Stan Musial is, so if you ever come across his cards, anywhere, pick them up. I don't care what condition they're in. Stan Musial is an all-time great. All right, Hodges. Oh, let's see what your sticker is. Sticker-wise, oh, it's a good sticker. Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer, so that's cool. Very cool. It's funny, when, I just, when that first sticker fell out of pack number one, I'm thinking to myself, boy, I don't remember stickers at all. 
But now that I'm thinking about it, I do know I do remember these stickers now as a kid. I do remember, and I do remember actually putting them in a booklet. Like we had a booklet as a kid, and we were sticking them all, um, all the teams in order and things like that. So it's starting to come back to me, which is cool. That's what these packs were all about for me, and the hobby's all about for me is bringing back some really great memories of opening baseball cards. So that's kind of cool that that came back to me a few packs in. How about the stickers? All right. So that was pack number six. Pack number seven. Get these packs out of the way here. Actually, let me do one thing here. Bear with me. I'm just trying to clean it up here so we don't have any accidents with cards falling on the ground. Okay. I think we're safe there now. There we go. Okay, back number seven is going to Judd D. Judd D is also one of my Patreon MVP members, so I thank you very much, Judd. This is pack number seven, so let's get into it and see what we got for you. Still looking for our Cal Ripken and Lee Smith. That is the two big ones we really hit. We're hitting some cool cards in between. Don't get me wrong, the Hall of Famers are absolutely worth uh, these packs, especially some of the bigger names. So, let's check it out. Put the wrapper over here and take the gum off. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Hoping and praying. Yep, gum is. Gum is okay. All right, here we go. Jim Kern, Jack Morris, there you go. Nice little theme, Jack Morris, all-star card. There you go. Harold Baines, this is his second year card, the new Hall of Famer. So very good card, that's a nice card and it's really well-centered and everything, it's a great looking card. Nice card, Judge, you'll enjoy that one. Add that to your collection, Harold Baines second. Brian Downing, I don't know, it's Wood. Let's see, your sticker is Alan Trammell. There you go, that's cool. It's a nice sticker. I'll put that down here. Bobby Mercer. Let me turn these over. Dave Edwards. Another in action. Ooh, Ken Griffey. Of course, that's the father of Ken Griffey Jr., who had a, just a great career in his own right. I mean, not Ken Griffey Jr., not his son's career, but. A great career. Art Howe. Player card. All right. Not too bad of a pack there for you, Judd. So that was pack number seven. Get that packed away for you here in your own little pouch. Like I said, I'm sealing these up. And I will go back and I will be, you know, put adding, putting these cards in the top loaders sleeves, etc. So when I send them back out to you, they'll be more than protected. If you've been in my breaks before, which many of you have, you know that I take very good card, very good care of the cards. I send them out and they're well protected and sealed up and all that good stuff. So don't have to worry about that. All right, here we go. Pack number eight. And this is Vincent P. Vincent P. Pack number eight. Good luck to you, Vincent. I think you are new to our break, so welcome. And if you aren't, I apologize. I don't recognize your name, but I think you are new. All right, there we go. Get the gum off. All right. This again, Vincent P. These are your cards here. Rusty Staub, George Brett. There you go, Hall of Famer, All Star card. Beautiful card. Ooh, that's really well centered. That's a perfect card, actually. Perfect. The back on it, clear highlights. This is a perfect card. Wow. All right, great. Oh, and there you go, another Hall of Famer, Phil Necro. Back to back. Very cool, Vincent. 
Phil Necro looks like he's 100 in every picture. Even in like his young days, <laughs> just always looked 100. J.R. Richard, wow, what a career. What an interesting career and tragic, too. Um, definitely, if you want to Google J.R. Richard, look him up. Read about his story. But, man, he was he dominant. He's, I mean, you can almost compare him in his day, um, and some do, I do, to uh, this year's sticker, Tom Pachorek, um, to Pedro Martinez. Like, at one point, he was that dominant, J.R. Richard. That guy can throw. Carl Fisk, another Hall of Famer. These are inactions. I love these cards. Love the inaction cards. I remember I collected all of them. Love them. Still do. Still one of my favorite, like, inserts. Tom Bernanski, that was a kind of a big card back then, too. California Angels rookie. Dave Concepcion. All right. That's your pack, Vincent. A couple Hall of Famers in there. So that was, uh, was a pretty good pack. I like that pack. I'd be happy if I was opening that pack at home. And I just did, actually. <laughs> but it's going to you, so a little jealous about that. A few cards in there I would definitely love to have for my own personal collection, but going to you. I thank you for buying in. Okay, back to rate. We move on. Pack number nine. Pack number nine. Oh, another one of my Patreon members. Chase and Donnie Baseball, Kirk M. Kirk M's been with us from the beginning. And I started my channel, so the last pack of the first row. Good luck to you, Kirk. Kirk and his son. Watching us. Watching the channel. Always participating in the breaks. I always really appreciate that. I like to get you guys some good cards. Send them out to you. You know, I like to throw a few extra in there when I can. So I'm hoping you're enjoying those. All right. All right, here we go. Eric, Eric and Andrew, here we go. Bob Boone, father of Aaron Boone. Greg Lazinski, an action card. That guy can hit back in the day. He gets some bombs. I don't know what his exit velocity would be back in 1982, but it would have been up there. Greg Lazinski hit some towering home runs. There we go, Hall of Famer. Willie Stargell. Nice card in action. There it is. Your sticker came out here. Take a look at that. Oh, Mike Flanagan from the Orioles. These stickers are in really good shape, too. I mean, they're definitely, they would definitely stick if you wanted to put them somewhere. George Bell. That was a big card back then, too. That was rookie card. I think that was his rookie card. Oh, no, George Bell was on, uh, was he on 81? I can't remember now, but that might have been his rookie or his second year card, but that was a, that was a pretty good card back. I remember, uh, Nice to collect goose. Hall of Famer. There you go. Got a couple in here. This is a nice pack. Bob Horner. Bob Horner, I believe, had four home runs in a game once. If I remember that correct. So that was that's a pretty unique accomplishment. Not many men could say they did that. Major League Baseball in one game, right? I don't know what year he did it. I'm trying to think. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe it'll hit me. I want to say 79, but I think 79 might have been his rookie year, so I don't think it was 79, but... All right, so Kirk M, that was pack number nine. So let me get into... We're getting now into our second row of cards. So that'll be... I'm sorry about the camera. That'll be the, the back row. Well, the top... I should say the top right. All right, I'm going to take these packs out. Use my hand and my arm. I'm doing this. Like I said, I gotta take a few out at a time. So I'll spill them all over the place. And they stay in order. Like I said, since you guys buy these per pack, I wanna make, and you pick the pack you want. I wanna make sure you get the pack that you picked. All right, here we go. Got them all out. Bottom three. One, two, three. Here we go. All right. Here we go. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go on to pack number 10. And we are looking at Chris G. Chris G, Chris G, welcome to the break. Pack number 10, Chris G. Here we go, buddy. See, we still have not hit a Ripken or a Lee Smith. And that is our, that's our ultimate goal, of course. And in between, we'll take the Hall of Famers, right? I'm not going to throw them back, that's for sure. There are a lot of good, valuable cards in this. If you look at the description in uh, the eBay listing, I, I list just a, a few of the, the Hall of Famers in there that PSA has graded. And some of them are just way up there. I mean, hundreds of dollars and stuff, so definitely worth it. Okay, here we go. Again, this is for Chris G. Chris G. In action, Bob Boone. Enos Campbell. Brian Kingman. Rich Hebner with the Tigers. Julio Gonzalez. Got the sticker here. And the sticker is Carney Langsford with the Red Sox. Scott McGregor of the Orioles. Steve Rogers. Chris Chandler is in action. That's a cool card. Aaron Hancock looking up somewhere, looking up at the top of the stadium. Tommy Herr. All right. And that is your pack, Chris G. Pack number 10. No um, no Hall of Famers in that pack. But uh, mint card nonetheless. And my disclaimer every time I open a pack and, you know, there's not a Hall of Famer or something or a major hit, is that when it comes to the older cards, um, it's always a little disappointing if you don't get a big hit, but definitely hold on to those older cards. There are people out there that are putting these sets together, you know, hand, uh, individually. So to me, it's like, hold on to them. You check on eBay, whatever. There's people always looking for, um, you know, random cards sometimes to finish a set. So you never know what they need. So Chris G, I recommend obviously holding on to that. And also if you've been part of my breaks, sorry guys, just doing a little housekeeping here before I continue. Um, you know that once you get your cards from me, there's, um, Let's just say that I never, I never leave you empty-handed, okay? You buy into a break with me, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get some cards. So keep that in mind. All right, okay. I think I got. I just want to get the first nine packs kind of squared away over here. So I leave room as we move along. All right. There we go. Okay, pack number 11. Oh, this is you again, Adam R. Adam R. Pack number 11 for you, buddy. All right. As I mentioned, Adam's my, one of my MVP members. So this is the pack right here, Adam. I just divided them up. This is pack number 11. See what we got for you. Oh, these packs are airtight. It's a beautiful thing to see. Beautiful thing to see. You almost can hear the air <laughs> like released from the bag, from the pack when I open it. Like it's first time it's hit air since it's been in the factory, which is true. Okay. Over there. All right, here we go. Steve Trout. Steve Carlton, there you go. Beautiful. Love Steve Carlton cards. Definitely don't hear enough in the hobby about people talking about Steve Carlton, about how great and dominant that man was, the lefty. One of the greatest lefties of all time, for sure. For sure. Just look at his numbers. I just, I, I know his rookie card is worth a lot of money, but in between, I think Steve Carlton cards are a steal when you can find them. Um, I know I pick them up whenever I can. Oh, a sticker fell out here. Tony Bernazard, the White Sox. And 
halfway through. Chris Chambliss action card. Just hit that, I believe, in the last pack. Let's read these out for you, Adam. Neil Allen. Dicky Fon. Tim Raines. There you go. Cool. Got a whole nice Hall of Famer. 81 highlight. Stole 71 bases as a rookie. 71. This is a second year card, of course. 71 bases, huh? Anybody ever steal that many again? And Rich Gosh, it's a nice way to end the pack. Especially as a Yankee fan that you are. So that's cool. Um, yeah, 71 bases. Boy, oh boy. And think about what Henderson did. Henderson almost doubled that. His record-breaking year. Doubled it. Wait, I think he did it the next year. I think he did it in 82, right? Was the record in 82? Don't look that up. But, yeah, I mean, that's... Nobody spikes bases like that anymore. I guess you don't have to in this, this day and age of baseball because everything's just flying out of the park. So I guess the thought is you get on base, you know, unless you're a real speedster, you know, take take an extra base if you can, but pretty much just sit tight because chances are someone in your lineup is going to be able to just knock it out of the park. So why chance getting thrown out, right? But RBI sitting out there. Which is kind of a shame. I mean, I love the long ball, don't get me wrong, but I do miss certain parts of the game. Back 12, Dan Bapp, one of our Gold Glove members, Dan Bapp. I have another Daniel that um, buys in often, so uh, Dan Bapp told me I can use that name to kind of separate him from Daniel B. So it's less confusing for me when I'm putting these cards together, so I appreciate that. He's also a uh, Gold Glove member, Patreon member. Okay, so yeah, I definitely miss the stolen base. I really do. I think it's a cool part of the game that... Let me get the gum off the back here. I'm trying to think, who is the best base runner, or uh, base stealer in the game today? I mean, number-wise, I don't really know. I have to look that up. Cliff Johnson, Rich Dower, not the Oriole we're looking for, Kirk Gibson, there you go, that's a cool card, it's a second year card, nice card there, Kirk Gibson, Willie Randolph all-star card, many of you, like I said before, don't realize he was a player and a really good one, an all-star, oh, here you go, nice, it's a Steve Carlton player card, you know what, I don't see this card often, I always see his in-action card, and like an all-star card, league leader. I never see his um, just player card. And it's a little off-centered, but it's in really nice shape, Adam. Really nice. Oh, excuse me, Dan. Really nice shape. It's uh, corners are great. No creases or anything like that. No uh, watermark. So I like that card. Steve Carlton. I haven't have seen that player card often. Uh, let me see your sticker just fell out here. And that is Fred Lynn. That's a cool card, Fred Lynn. The Angels. So there you go. All right. Let me turn over the halfway point here for you. Almost halfway point, I think. I think it is the halfway point. Scott McGregor, Milt May, Gene Nelson, Pat Underwood. And I think that's it. Yep, that's the last card. All right, Dan. Very cool. Well, you got a card in there that I'm a little jealous of. That Steve Carlton is really nice. Like I said, I don't see that that card off in the 82. Um, I guess you can call it a base card. Uh, base card back then. But, it, yeah, that's a nice card, so congrats on that one. All right. Get that all sealed up for you. And rest assured, I'll get that in a, a top order for you, so before I send it out. All right. Damn that. That was your... Pack number 12, we move on to pack number 13, this is Dustin L, Dustin L, pack number 13, coming up here, there you are buddy, Dustin L, get your pack, get this, let's give it a second, a little housekeeping, okay, here we go Dustin, Drip in here, Okay, didn't save that pack very well, but sometimes you can't. Gum is off.
All right, here we go. Dennis Leonard, Dan Ford, Barry Bonell, Ron Guidry in action cards. Nice card. Dave Parker, there you go. It's a cool card. All star. Mike Schmidt, nice. Love Mike Schmidt. Love Mike Schmidt. Not only one of the greatest hitting offensive third baseman, but one of the greatest defensive too. He really was. It's a cool card. Look at, this, look at this victory leaders. Let me get to the sticker first. Sticker is, oh, Hall of Famer. Gary Carter with the Expos. Before he made his name with the Mets. And here we go, victory leaders. This is a really cool card. Look at this. Tom Seaver. Jack Morris. I like that card. It's cool. Put them all on there, huh? Nope, May. Nick Burris. Craig Nettles. And that's it. So we get some nice. I like that Mike Schmidt in action. I like the Gary Carter sticker too. That's cool. All right. So that was going to Dustin L. Dustin L. That was pack number 13. So congrats on that pack for you. I think you have another pack or two. I know off the top of my head, I'll have to look at the list, but. Nonetheless, it's a nice little pack. You got your Gary Carter sticker in there. Okay. And just a reminder, since we're coming up, not quite halfway done, but I do have a um, free giveaway at the end. The last pack is pack 36, so after I open that, I will just, um, I got my laptop behind me, so I'll go grab that. I have the list already um, written out on list uh, randomizer at website and I'll randomize the list five times and the person that ends up at the, after the fifth one in the top spot will win and I'll show the uh, boxes again but I got a mix of different uh, retail boxes blaster boxes from different years and stuff so okay we're on to pack number 14 and this is going to Gavin C Gavin C pack number 14 Start opening it before I show this. Gavin C. and the old man. No inside joke. All right. This is for you, Gavin. Let's see what you got for you, buddy. Still looking for that Cal Ripken. Lee Smith rookie. Four. We'll take maybe a Hall of Famer or. Let's see what we got here. Get rid of dumb. All right. Here we go, Gavin. Dave Parker, there you go. Beautiful. Second card is a nice Dave Parker. Dave Kingman. John Candelaria. Tom Brookins. Roberto Ramos. Expos. Don Sutton, here you go. Old Famer, Don Sutton. And here's our sticker card. Bob Nepper. The Astros. Okay, let's see here. Jason Thompson. Oh, here you go. This is a cool one. Runs batted in leaders. 1981. Schmidt and Eddie Murray. There you go. Two Hall of Famers. Bam. Very cool card. And it's in great condition. Perfect condition, really. Craig Nettles. Nice Yankee there. Jerry Remy. Mike Witt. Remember that card? Ooh, Dave Parker, you got another one. You got the uh, in action card. That's pretty cool. Ed Romero. And there you go. Not bad. It's a good pack, Gavin. I got some nice cards in there. Get these off to you. And your pups. You guys can put these, add these to your collection. All right, you got your sticker in there too. Your Bob Nepper. Houston Astros. All right, we'll get that sealed up for you. And we will move on to pack number 15. Coming up on our halfway point. So let's see, pack number 15 is going to, uh, this is Joseph B. So let me get your pack. Here you go, Joseph. 
pack number 15. Thank you, Joseph. He's been with us for the past few breaks. Glad you found us. And glad you're with us, watching. Appreciate all your comments. Always have uh, nice things to say, and I appreciate that. I really do. Appreciate your support and your loyalty to the channel. Enjoy having you here, so. All right, oh, let me get the gum off the back. Here we go. Joseph B. Here's your pack number 15. Louis Tian. Cool card. Biff. Andre Dawson. Beautiful card. Hall of Famer Andre Dawson. 1982. This is a great looking card. Good job, Joseph. This is a really nice card. You'll be happy with this. Hubie Brooks. Mickey Hatcher. Oh, here we go. Oof. Now there's a card. Gotta stop for a second here. Nolan Ryan. Oof, this is really nice. Great condition. It's centered left to right, really nice. Little top to bottom, off center, but boy, oh boy, let me tell you. Back is really nice. Wow. Great card. Good job, Joseph. This is a really nice one. This is definitely one of the cards we're looking for, no doubt about it. I consider that a hit for sure. Nolan Ryan, 82. That's a hit. So good for you. All right, coming up on your sticker, which is Bill Buckner. Rest in peace. Bobby Brown. John Castino. Reed Nichols. Futures. Vance Law. Johnny Ray. Bob Long. Hey Burns. Burris, excuse me. Checklist. The first checklist card. Dickie Knowles, and that's it, Ted Simmons. So, really nice, you got the Nolan Ryan, that's a huge, huge hit there. Nolan Ryan, any early 80s, of course 70s, is um, a major hit, so, especially in that condition, so, congratulations, Joseph, that's definitely a, definitely makes it worth it for me, at least, I hope it is for you, hope you see it that way. There's a lot of people that would like that card. No question about it. All right. Here you go, Joseph. Pack number 15. All right, we go on to pack number 16, and that will be James S. James S. Pack number 16. Here we go. All right. Let's see if we're coming up. That's an old ride with a nice hit. Maybe that's, we're warming up now. Maybe we're gonna cards get bigger and better from here on out. Hit some good ones already, but Nolan Ryan definitely is the biggest one so far. No question about it. Some people out there that are huge Nolan Ryan fans. I can think of one, Jonathan H. And you're probably watching during this break. You might even see more value in that card. Not monetary, but more value in that card than even if you found a Kyle Ripken. So... Shows you what the collecting is all about. Dave Winfield also, there you go. Boom, start off with a Hall of Famer. Let's see if we can continue this, James. Bobby Bonds. Rod Carew, there you go, another one. And these are two you know, base cards, so that's really nice, and that's a nice shape. Centering is really good. Coloring is great, corners are great, so this Rod Carew is a sweet card. Hall of Fame, Rod Carew. Buddy Solomon. Daryl Porter in action card. Larry Boa. Now here's your sticker card. And it is, let me see here. Oh, Leon Durham. Yep, Leon Durham. The Cubs. Mets leaders. Mike Scott. Huey Brooks. And checklist. Andre Thornton. Steve Braun, All-Stars, Dave Henderson's on there, Jerry Remy, Red Sox broadcaster now, and another checklist, and there's Dave Winfield, there you go, so not too bad, James, got some decent cards in there, start off with uh, Dave Winfield, I got the Rod Carew base card, so that's really nice, I would definitely, definitely 
leave that up for you. Get the top loaded for you when I send it out. Just, you know, all Hall of Famers automatically go into um, top loaders, I mean, automatically. So, and everybody else is going to get sleeved up, so. All right, we are coming up on halfway, guys. Coming up on halfway. So, that was pack number 16. And now we are into pack number 17. And pack number 17 is Miguel R. Miguel R, I think you have a few packs in a row coming up here. So, you are new to our channel. Welcome. Appreciate your buying in here. Supporting the channel. Wish you luck here on your, your packs. Hope we can get you the big cards, the Ripken or Lee Smith, but maybe a Hall of Famer or two or three. So you got a few packs. Here we go. Alright. Pack away. And get that gum away. Alright, here we go, Miguel. This is your first pack. Cesar Sedano. Charlie Lee. Lee. Gary Alexander. Look at that Pirates hat. It's so cool. Old school. Juan Bonilla. And your sticker card is. What is it on there? Oh, Ellis Valentine. Okay. Where we met. Turn this over. Oh, here we go. Team leader. Oh, dude, boom. I was going to say two Hall of Famers. Well, one, Steve Carlton and Pete Rose, who would definitely be a Hall of Famer if it wasn't for his own indiscretions. So that was a nice, nice card. Rick Sutcliffe. Nice card. Not bad, not bad. All right, we wrapped up that with a nice... that. Team card was really nice with Rose and Carlton, so you have that coming to you. All right, Miguel, that was your pack number 17. Like I said you have a couple, few packs in a row coming up, so get this one put away for you, and then we'll get to your next pack. Stick your card. Okay. It's sealed. Well, these sealers sometimes are really hard to get that little plastic off. Okay, there we go. Pack 17. And like I said, pack number 18 again is Miguel. Miguel R. So thanks again, Miguel. And this is the last pack of row 2. Which brings us halfway. Still searching, searching, chasing. Ripping. Oh, 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 I think I see a beautiful card right on the top. Yep, I want to be real careful here. This is a really nice card. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Ricky Henderson. This is his third year card. Third year. 80s is a rookie, of course. 81 and then 82. And this is in perfect shape. Wow. The centering, everything on this card is perfect. Wow. Look at that. Only his third card. Well, this is a really nice card, Miguel. Congrats. That's a beautiful card, so good job there. Didn't take the gum off the back. Sorry about that. Don't want to ruin the flow. So that was nice. That's a nice way to start that pack. Ricky Henderson, wow. Now Oliver. Mickey Rivers with the Rangers. Lloyd Mosby. Jose Cruz. Here's your sticker. Bert Hooten sticker. Bert Hooten with the Dodgers. Okay. Turn this over. Chuck Baker. Britt Burns. Mariners League leaders. Or Mariner team leaders, I should say. John Waffen. And Ricky Henderson. So Ricky Henderson is definitely the card in this pack. And this is probably the second best card in the, uh, the box so far, really. I would say maybe, well, no Ryan. I guess if you're going monetary-wise, which I don't really like to do too much, except when it comes to really big cards, I think it's pretty even. 
Nolan might be up. Yeah, I think actually Ricky's card might be a little bit worth a little bit more. So I don't know. It's it's a toss up. But either way, Nolan Ryan, Ricky Henderson. I'll take either. I'll take either. Anyway, Miguel, that's going to you. So Ricky Henderson's going to you. It's not going to me. I do collect a lot of Ricky Henderson cards, though. I do have a lot of his cards. I pretty much have all his cards. The only one I don't, I mean, I have his 80 card. Um, it's not in the greatest conditions, but I do have it. Okay, now we went on to pack, excuse me, row three. So let me get these out. Again, I'll make sure these stay in order. I'm just taking them out in two or three bunches at a time. But won't lose the order, I promise you. And this one, okay. That's the bottom. And these are the top. All right, move it along here. Tell you what, I'll change this up a little bit. I'm gonna put the cards on, you know, put them on this side. Yeah, I'll move them over here. We'll change the flow a little bit. How about that? And this is going out to, oh, this is Miguel. This is you again, Miguel. So this is pack 19, let me get your back out. Here it is, pack 19, Miguel R. Go, buddy. Let's see if we can get you another Hall of Famer too. Of course, rather you get Ripken or Lee Smith, but no guarantees in anything. Just gotta keep chasing, keep going into these breaks until we get the card you want. That's the way I do it. <laughs> and plus, I just love it, love it, love it. Dale Barra, his first card. Dale Barra, let's get rid of this gum and pack. Gail Barry just has a new, um, I think he just released a new book about his dad and everything, his life. His dad being Yogi Bear, of course. Dale had his troubles, uh, his own personal struggles, but he has since turned everything around in his life, which is great to see. Fernando Venezuela, all star. He was one of the hottest cards in the early 80s, no doubt about that. Faded fairly quickly, though. Faded fairly quickly. Dave Steve. Dave Steve was one of the great pictures pitchers of the eighties. He really was. I feel like every time I watched Dave Steve, he was pitching like one or two no hit uh, one or two hitters. Tom Pachorik, sticker. Batting leaders for the uh, A's. Ricky Henderson's on there. Nice Hall of Famer. Another Ricky Henderson's following you around, Miguel. That's a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. Ricky Henderson cards. In action, Steve Garvey. Oh, man. So another future card. Got my heart pumping. Looking for that Ripken. Dale Bear, there we go. No Ripken. Not yet. Not yet. But All right, Miguel. I think that was your last pack, so I appreciate that. Now we'll get all your cards out to you, every one of them. Packed away nicely. Especially that Henderson rookie, uh, excuse me, Henderson card rookie, oh my gosh, imagine. Uh, I was saying before about all the Henderson cards I have. I do have his 80, his 80 card, his rookie card, but, you know, it's, it's not in great condition, of course, because his great condition is worth like $20,000 or something like that. Gem, gem mint. Pack 20, Spencer S, Spencer S. So Spencer, welcome back. You've been with us before. Appreciate you finding the channel. Hope you're all enjoying this break. Don't forget we have a free giveaway right at the end of this. Grab my laptop and we'll give away some retail blaster boxes. From, got about four of them from different years. I'll go over them again right after this, but uh -oh. take a look at that. See who wins those. All right. Get rid of the little plastic things. Here we go. All right, Spencer. Let's see what we got for you, buddy. Steve Howe. Ken Singleton. Yankee broadcaster. Really good hitter in his day. 300 hitter. Clint Hurdle. Your sticker. Alan Trammell, 
There you go. Use that country mail card. All right, moving on. Oh, here we go. Royals leader, George Brett. That's a nice card. Nice Hall of Famer on there for you. In action, another Hall of Famer, Joe Morgan. Now, I, I had all the in actions. I don't remember the Joe Morgan one, though. I forgot about that, and he's with the Giants. It's a cool card. I don't, really, I don't remember that card. I don't know if I have that card. Chili Davis rookie card. That was another hot card. Yeah, Chili Davis. Forgot about that. Was in his set. That's a cool card. We haven't hit that tonight. Chili Davis. Pascal Perez. So there you go. That was a pretty cool set. Pretty cool pack, I should say. All right. That's going out to you, Spencer. I like that pack. Had some cool cards and interesting cards. Like that Joe Morgan in action. Like I said, I don't remember that card. I collated the set. I have it in that set, but I don't remember collecting it individually. I don't think I have that. So. Alright, Spencer. This is your pack. And okay. There we go. Alright. We are up to pack 21. Pack 21. Moving along here now. Thomas P. Thomas P. Here you go. Welcome, Thomas, to the break. Pack 21. See if we can get this uh, Cal Ripken here, or Lee Smith. Gotta, gotta stay focused, let's say. Think Cal Ripken. Everybody think Cal Ripken. Especially you, Thomas. Think Cal Ripken. See if that works. <laughs> I don't believe in that stuff, but let's see if it works. All right. We're on here. All righty. Here we go. Hector Cruz. Kyle McRae. Mark Wagner. Steve Stone. Get these cards straight now for you. Here we go. Virgie Jenkins. That's a really nice card. Let's see if your sticker is. Is that Mike Flanagan? Yep, Mike Flanagan. The Orioles. Jenkins, turn this over. John Henry Johnson. Jim Rice, there you go. Really nice card. Oh, I love that Jim Rice card. Again, that's a base card. That's a really, really cool card. Good for you. That's a good one. Jim Rice. It's not Cal Ripken, I get it, but that's a nice card to add to your personal collection or whatever you decide to do with it. I really like that card, man. All right. I would say the winner is Jim Rice in that pack for sure. Okay, pack 21, Thomas P. Get this, put it in the plastic for you. And get it sealed up. All right. And then we move on to pack 22. And pack 22 is going to Kirk M. Kirk M is one of our Gold Glove Patreon members, so appreciate that, Kirk. There you go. Pack 22. Let's see what we got for you, Kirk. I know we're not going to hit any Rockies. That's Kirk's favorite team, Colorado Rockies. So, not going to hit that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can get for you, though. The, the, the thinking about Cal Ripken didn't work. Surprisingly, that didn't work, huh? Shockingly. So let's try something else. How about, um, I don't know, if you're wearing a baseball cap, maybe wear it inside out, rally cap. Coming up on pack, this is pack 22, so you have to get the rally caps out soon if we're looking for the Ripken, Lee Smith, Dick Davis, Gary Renneke, Terry Kennedy, Bobby Castillo. Oh, feature Red Sox. Hold on here, your sticker is. Carney Langsford, nobody worth no. Bruce Hurst was kind of a thing back then. Pete Rose, there you go, all-star. Good, got you at least one Hall of Famer in here. Well, again, take that back. Not a Hall of Famer, but this is a valuable card. Boy, the camera couldn't get any closer, could it? Burt Cabanaris. Now Ripley, Twins leaders. All right, 
Well, no, no Cal Ripken. And no, technically no Hall of Famers, but he did get a nice Pete Rose, so. And it's in really great condition, so that's a nice addition to your PC. All right, Kirk, thank you again. And we move on. We're on to pack 23. Pack 23 is going to get this pack over here. One second, a little housekeeping. Okay. Pack 23 is going to Steve A. Steve A, this is going to you. You can get your bag. Here it is. Steve A, pack 23. All right. Let's see here. We're about halfway through the third row. And we are looking for Rickon, Lee Smith. We did hit a Nolan Ryan tonight. We hit a Ricky Henderson. We hit a few different Pete Roses. We hit a Johnny Bench base card. It's really nice. Yeah, we definitely hit some Hall of Famers so far. No question about that. So I'm never, never worried that we were going to get skunked when it came to getting some good cards. But... Gonna be honest, I'm gonna be a little disappointed if we don't hit at least one Ripken, at least Smith. I know it's not, nothing's a guarantee, but come on. Come on, tops, help us out. There you go. That's a 1982 haircut. Gary Renicky, Terry Kennedy. And your sticker card is Tony Bernard. All right, turn it over. Mike Tyson. It looks different before he got knocked out by Buster Douglas. Huh? Let's see, Kansas City. Use your future All-Stars. Atlee Hamaker was probably the bigger name that came out of there, but didn't really pan out, as we all know. Craig Nettles, cool card. I don't know what kind of fan you are, Steve. Bobby Ojeda with the Red Sox. And that was it, right? Tony Pena, yep. Okay, so Steve A, no, uh, no big hits in that pack. But don't sweat it. I will make sure that you're taken care of. Get you something, throw something extra in your, your package. Alrighty. Let's go on to pack 24. That's your pack, Steve. All right, pack 24 is going to, where are we? Okay, pack 24, oh, Alfredo T. Alfredo T is one of my newer uh, Patreon signups members, MVP. Thank you for that, Alfredo. Been very active in the, the break since you've uh, found the channel. I really appreciate that. Got you some decent cards, so let's see if we can continue that trend and get you the big one here. Gum off the back. Well, that gum off the back sounds like every old stadium club <laughs> from the 90s. Baboon. Venus Campbell. The way those cards stick together. Oh my gosh. I can give Tops credit. The cards they made. They, sticking together is not a problem they ever had. I mean, that goes for any pack you open. Old pack. Fred Lynn sticker. Um, they don't stick together. They just don't. They don't have that gloss. You know, that extra gloss that made them stick together. But they hold up well. The color holds up beautifully. On all these cards. Lance Parrish. Lamar Hoyt. Dennis Worth. Enrique Romo. Pete Wojcovich. And no Cal Ripken. That was pack 24. All right, Alfredo, thought you were going to bring us that Ripken, but I think you're, I think you have another pack or two, I think, if I remember. So, I think you're done. If you guys watched, uh, I don't know how many of my breaks that you've watched, or if you've been with me since the beginning, but anyway, the very first break I ever did was the 1984 Don Ross. Um, that was a BBC sealed 
PVC ink seal box. And that's 36 packs as well, just like this 82. And I believe it was pack 31 or 32 where we hit Mattingly, the Mattingly rookie, which was just insane. Dustin L, here's another pack for you, Dustin. Pack 25 this time. Move on to that. So, yeah, I think it was pack 31. And, man, I just about lost it when I hit that card. Did not see it coming. Just was... I highly recommend checking it out if you go back to my breaks. And I think it's pack 31. Uh, if you watch that Don Ross opening, <laughs> you'll see my reaction. I mean, of course, I'm the biggest Don Miami fan, so... Uh, and I actually don't, don't own that card. It was hard to believe. I don't have the Don Mattingly 84 Don Russ currently in my possession. I know I had it as a child at some point, but I don't know where, I, where it is now. I'm sure I traded it or who knows, but I have over 1,200, 1200 Don Mattingly cards. And I don't have the Don Russ uh, rookie. But anyway, I did find it. It was Sparky Lyle. That's a cool card. Later in his career with the Phillies. Dennis Lamp. Okay, this is Dustin L. This is your pack, buddy. Oh, it's Jim, Jim Palmer. There you go. Nice Hall of Famer. That's a base card, too. So, again, these base cards are not that common um, for some of these Hall of Famers. There's a lot of in-action league leader cards, but when you find a nice base like that, it's uh, to me, it's adds a little extra value to it, for sure. So, that's nice. Andre Dawson. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a great card. Make no mistake. All-star card. But when you find the base cards, it's a little bit more... Um, they're just They're not as common, I should say. Here's your sticker, Gary Carter, with the Expos. We got that earlier in the night. So, all right, here we go. Terry Poole, Pete Falcone, Ron Davis highlight. Fans, eight straight in relief. Oh, all right. Well in office. Mickey Klutz. Oh, here we go. Ah, another one. Another nice, nice base card. Paul Molitor. This guy is such a great hitter. Was such a great hitter. Hall of Famer. Awesome card. Good job, Dustin. Man, that was a nice pack for you. Really nice pack. Good job on that one, Dustin. Good job. All right. We get this off to you. Pack 25. We are coming up on it, guys. Coming up on it. The end. All right. And also, actually, I want to take this opportunity. Um, I have not done a like a fan mail video yet. Um, I just haven't put one together yet. But I have received some some cards and some letters from um, some of you already that have been just just unbelievably generous. And I really want to thank you all. And I will thank you at some point, like on video. I just have to put that together. Um, and maybe I'll just, I've opened a lot of them, so I'll just kind of, ooh, ooh, nice base card here. Um, I'll just show what you gave me and thank you on camera, but thank you very much for whoever's sending stuff. I really appreciate that. Uh, look at that. See what I'm looking at? Oh, this is going to, oh, cool. This is going to pack 26. I'm happy. Start off with Mike Schmidt and it goes to da -da 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 -da, Jonathan H. The Jonathan H. Autistic Family. He's one of my MVP members on the Patreon. Jonathan H. Autistic Family. Um, definitely, definitely check out his channel, guys. He has a great channel. He's doing such a great job on that channel. I really enjoy watching it and listening to him. He's really good at presenting the cards and he's got a lot of stories to share. So definitely recommend looking up Jonathan H. Autistic Family. He's just a great, great channel. So congrats to you, Jonathan, on that channel. Mike Schmidt base card, starting you off with. That's a beautiful card. Really well centered. Perfectly mint. I mean, there's no problem with the corners or anything. So, nice start for you, Jonathan. Really nice start. Charlie Moore. Tony Pena. Not. All right, Jim Gantner. Oh, Bucky Dent in action. Jonathan is a huge Texas Ranger fan. So, that Nolan Ryan earlier, I'm sure he was, Bob Nippers, your sticker card was uh, 
I was hoping that was in one of his packs, but you never know. You have a couple packs, I think. Three or four or less, though. I think three. So you never know. Maybe we'll get you a Nolan Ryan. Okay. Finishing this up. All right, so we got the Mike Schmidt in there for you, Jonathan. Which is a great card. Base, like I said, it's a beautiful card. With Johnny Bench, we got Ricky Henderson, Nolan Ryan. Hitting some, some, some of the big Hall of Famers, big names. So congrats on all those guys. And your sticker going in there. All right. Thanks, as always, Jonathan, for your support, buddy. I really appreciate it. And like I said, guys, please check out Jonathan's channel, Statistic Family. It's terrific. Just terrific. All right. All right, we move on to pack 27, and that is going to uh, another Patreon member. This is uh, an MVP member, Judd D. Judd D. Uh, for you those that are new to maybe breaks or my channel, you hear me mention Patreon and seeing, like, I wrote MVP or Gold Glove on the bottom of certain people's names. That's just a, um, it's another way of supporting my channel um, with, a, with a monthly pledge. Uh, if you look at my, down at the description, I leave a link to my Patreon page. If you're interested, please feel free to link, you know, click on that link and check it out. Um, and if you feel, uh, you know, if you want to support me, there's different uh, levels of support you'll see there. And, and each level, I uh, I send out a, uh, a package to each month, baseball card package. So um, if you do support me financially with a pledge, um, I do try to hook you up with some good cards and packs at the end of the month, too. So anyway, enough about the Patreon. Let's move on to Judd's Pack 27. George Foster, that's a cool all-star card. He's another one like Phil Anchor. He always looks just look old. You know, like every card he had, he always looked like such an old man. Even in his younger cards, like in the 70s. It's just my opinion, but <laughs> All right, your sticker fell out, and that is oh Bill Buckner, another Bill Buckner. Rest in peace, Bill Buckner. And go to you, Judd. Turn this over. Bobby Gritch. And it's Williams. Shooty Babbitt. There's a name for you, huh? Shooty Babbitt. That's an awesome name. Lou Pinella, player card. Good card. Frank LaCourt. Jeff Leonard. All right. Not bad, not bad. How can you go wrong with a shooty, a shooty card? <laughs> That's a great name, huh? That's a card you should get autographed. Oh, Judd, you should do that. I mean, it's up to you, but you should definitely, definitely look up uh, Shooty's address. You can find those things. There's websites dedicated to players' addresses to send cards to get autographed. There's a lot of players out there, retired players, that love to sign cards. Normally, you just have to like, send the card with like a, a postage paid return envelope, you know, which is what, like maybe a dollar, and, you know, they'll sign it and send it back to you, but that would be a cool autograph. Shooty Bobby. Man, if you don't do it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to find his card and I'm going to do it. This would be a fun autograph to have. All right. So we are moving on to our fourth and final row of the box. So I'm going to squeeze my arm and hand again. I'm going to go ahead and get these out. So we'll start with pack 28 and that will take us right to pack 36, which will take us to our giveaway. So... All right, I did a good job of saving the box tonight. Didn't have to rip it or anything. I'll find a use for that box. Um, all right, let me get, I'm gonna put the box down at the bottom here. All right, here we go. This is the second row, second to last row here. Bottom of the pile, all right. So we're in the clear, we got pack 28. Let me get this out. Oh, it's going to you, Jonathan, again. All right, pack 28, Jonathan H. All right, buddy, here we go. Let's see what we got for you. Hoping, hoping, hoping for the best. We're coming up on the last row, so we're gonna find that Ripken or Lee Smith. We gotta do it fast. The clock is ticking. Is that Lou Whitaker? Yep, that's a cool card, Lou Whitaker. Get the gum off. Let's 
see if we can find you. A ribkin. Where are you, cow? Where are you? Gotta be in here somewhere, right? It's gotta be. You went in this whole box and he's not gonna be in here? I don't believe it. I can't believe it. The in Durham. I gotta believe it's in here somewhere. I gotta believe Lee Smith's in here somewhere. George Foster, that's a cool card. Greg Swan, Greg Gross. Rick Manning. Nope, 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 not in here. Not in this one, Jonathan. I think you might have one more, or that might be it for you, I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the list, but wasn't in pack 28. Ripken and Lee Smith. Not easy. They're not easy to find, guys. I mean, I remember back in 82, that was a hot card. Even then, it wasn't easy to find, so... Don't know how they pack these. I don't even know what the odds are, to be honest, like in the old packs, what the odds are to find a certain card or did they pack them less or I don't know. Like was a Calvert Big Jr. No, I guess they're all produced. They produce the same amount of cards, right? They just, just gotta find it. Just gotta find it. And that's why we do these breaks. We try to find them. If not, life goes on. And we just try to have fun while we're doing it. And if you're not having fun doing it, and that goes for anything. If you're not having fun with doing anything, then you need to stop and reevaluate what's going on in your life. Rod Carew. There we go. Call of Famer, Rod Carew. Oh, sorry. Pack 29. This is going to... Sorry about that, guys. Oh, this is going out to you, Chris G. Chris G, there you go. So I got you a nice Rod Carew there, Chris. Nice in action, Rod Carew. Corny Langsford. Toby Hara. Gary Carter, there you go. Another Hall of Famer, and this is a base card. Like I said, these base cards are a little bit harder to find than those in actions and stuff, so. Nice Hall of Fame card. Ellis Valentine. It's your sticker. Joe Nolan. I don't know, I'll say it was autographs, by the way. Like if you bought a card today, that looks like the on-card autographs, doesn't it? And they're on all these cards, but they're not really autographed. I guess if you, if you want, if you got an autograph in real life, it'd be cool to have an autograph on an autograph, <laughs> like from an '82 card, you know? Going with Thomas. All right, no Ripken, no Ripken for you, Chris. Sorry, bud. Tried. We tried. It's okay. Hang with me. I do get some cool hits, so I promise you. Just not in that pack. All right. Yeah. That would be pretty cool, actually. Get one of the 82 cards signed by a player right next to his printed autograph. See how much it matches. See how close it comes. Okay. We move on to pack 30. Hitting... Pack 30 is James S. again. All right, James. Let's see what we got here. We are wrapping things up here. Only six packs after this. And then don't forget, we have our giveaway. So I'll have to go get my laptop. It's behind me, so it's just going to be like a minute. Don't leave. I just got to grab it, set it up. Give away those boxes. To someone. All right, here we go, James S. What we got for you? Get this centered up for you. All right. Reggie Jackson, there you go. Nice all-star card. Perfect condition. Really well centered. Back is looking great. So that's a good one for you. Like I said, like if you got an autograph from Brian Allard. If he signed it, like, right above it, I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. Oh, Tim Raines, look at this card. This is a second-year card. Oh, that's a great card. Hall of Famer Tim Raines, look at that card. That's really well-centered. Look at that front, top, bottom, left, right. Check out the back for you. 
Look at that. It's just a second year card. Of course, 81 was his rookie card. It's 82. So that's really cool. Good card for you, James. Really nice. All right. I'm going to go through that. It was halfway through. Jerry Don Gleaton, Tim Wallach. Good player back then. Amos Otis. Dave Roberts. John Mayberry. Dick Davis. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, James. Yeah, the, um, open it. I forgot your uh, sticker card. And your sticker card is, oh, Bert Hooten. Good the Dodgers. Get that in there for you. So, we are definitely hitting Hall of Famers, guys. Can't say that we aren't. Like almost every pack, except for a few, we hit at least one Hall of Famer. On like, you know, whether it was a base card or or something else, but so we're hitting hitting Hall of Famers, just haven't hit the and we hit some decent rookies too. Um, all right, so pack thirty one, we move on. Oh, it's Kirk M again. Kirk M. M and his son Andrew. MVP uh, oh, no, actually no. You are a Patreon member, I think I wrote the wrong title. But that's okay. I think you're a gold glove, but that's fine. No harm, no foul, but thank you, Kirk, for all your support, Andrew. Appreciate you guys watching, buying into the breaks. Hope you like the packs I'm sending out to you and all that good stuff. I think we have a nice mutual relationship going with all my subscribers, all the people that buy in. Hope you're enjoying it. If you haven't bought in yet and you're watching this, uh, I definitely recommend buying in. Um, I'm not trying to sell myself, but I definitely um, I love doing this. I really get the hits every once in a while, but... I definitely take care of you when I send your cards out. I don't mind sending some extra cards along. And I love doing giveaways, so that's my that, that that's my little sales pitch to you. If you're thinking about buying into one of my breaks, there you go, another one. I just looked earlier, it's hard to find his kind of his base card, if you will, on the 82 set. And this is the second time we hit it tonight, so Kirk, you got him. Uh, Steve Carlton, very nice. And Keith Hernandez, that's broadcaster. He was a great player in the 80s. No question about that. It was between him and Don Mattingly in New York. Battle who was better, who was better. We all know the answer to that. Jason Donnie Baseball. Oop, there's your sticker. Dave Concepcion, I believe. Yep, Dave Concepcion. Cool card. Doyle Alexander. Ooh, Ken Griffey. There you go, senior. That's a nice card. Another nice base card. And he looks just like his son, huh? Incredible. That's a cool autograph. Look at that. Or this way. This is Wikovich. All right. That is it for that packer. Not too shabby. Be happy with it. All right. Get that off to you. That was pack 31, and we're coming up on pack 32. Let me just get the seal for you, Kurt. Um, yeah, like I said, my, that's my sales pitch to you. My sales pitch is, if you think about coming into one of my breaks, try to have fun, try to open some really good sets, both old and new, and I can promise you I take care of your cards. When you get, my, when you get your cards from me, um, you know, I'm always going to, I'm always going to hook you up, especially if you don't get a hit or something. I'm always going to hook you up, make sure that you don't walk away empty-handed, if you know what I mean, when it comes to cards. So, All right, pack 32, Thomas P., Thomas P., good luck to you, buddy. This is pack 32 right here, coming up on it, only 36 packs, so about to conclude this break and get to the giveaway. Mm -hmm. Tony Armis. On the top, get the gum off. All right, here we go, Thomas. I believe this is your second pack. Second or third, right? All right, let's see what we got for you. Tony Perez in action. Jim Sundberg. Let's see, Ron Hassey. Dale Murphy. Oh, man, it's one of my favorite cards growing up. Just love that card. 
I always loved it. Guy was such a great player. I still think he's going to get into the Hall of Fame. Definitely deserves it, so I'm calling him a Hall of Famer. I think he definitely, definitely deserves it, and I think he'll get in. Bob Boone? Stick a card. I hope Dale Murphy gets in. Hope him and Manley one day get in. I don't know if Manley's going to get in. Steve Carlton? There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh oh, I gotta use Steve Carlton for a reveal. Thomas P. When you remember me, remember me fondly, buddy. Steve Carlton leads us to the Lee Smith rookie. This is a hot, hot card. Look at this. It's in really great shape. Great shape. It's just slightly off centered, but not a lot at all. Check out the back. Oh, it's perfectly. Mint. This is a beautiful card. I'm telling you folks, if you go if you look on PSA right now, they have this card listed, you know, gem ten, PSA ten. It's like eight hundred dollars. I'm telling you, it's worth it's it's more than the um Ripton card right now. And uh it's more than Ripton and it's like they have like an up arrow or a plus arrow, meaning it's getting hotter and hotter. So, um, excuse me for the pause. I got to put this right in a one touch, just because of the value it has now. I don't want to play around with it. So, getting this right into a one touch for you. There we go. And this is exactly how I mail it. So, this will never touch another human hand until it gets to you. All right, Thomas. So, congratulations on that. It's really nice. I'm glad. Glad we hit Lee Smith. I was hoping, like I said, some of my hits are always late in the game, so I hope you stuck with me for this break. It's worth it. It's worth it. Because I do hit. I do get some hits. All right. Way to end that. Lee Smith, that's awesome. Awesome. Oh, let me get that in there first, actually. That's a great card. Lee Smith. Way to go, Thomas. I'm happy for you. I was happy for the break. I'm glad we got some. I'm glad we got one of the big ones. I mean, we're not done. We could still get... Cow. We could still get cow. I'm still counting on it. I didn't give up on the Lee or the cow and we hit it so. Alright, got that in. Protect it. Great job, Thomas. Alright. Got Lee Smith. Cool. That made my that made me very happy. Happy for you. Okay. And we still have four packs to go. And we're up to pack 31. This is Joseph B. again. This is your second pack, I believe, Joseph. All right. I'm trying to think. What did we hit for you earlier, Joseph? I think we hit... Did you get the Noel Ryan, I think? I don't remember. I think you were the Noel Ryan. I don't remember, but... Um, you got definitely a couple of decent cards. Oh, you got a nice card right on top. I'll tell you that. One second. There you go. Pete Rose. I need to get rid of the gum in the back. All right, here we go. Joseph B, pack 33, Pete Rose. Al Oliver, Nick Burleson, Mickey Rivers. Mike Schmidt, there we go. Another all-star Hall of Famer. Terrific condition that card is in. Really nice. Uh, this is, uh, who is this? I don't know who this player is. Oh, Larry Herndon. Okay, remember him. And here is a Yankees future. Each star, Steve Balboni. Andy, Andre Robertson, remember him. Future star, Steve Balboni. He wasn't on first base very long. Someone came along and took that spot from him. You might have heard of him, Don Mattingly. Sorry, Steve. Raleigh Fingers, there you go. Hall of Famer there in action. And there's your Pete Rose. So, very cool. That's a nice pack there, Joseph. Not bad, not bad at all. I like that Pete Rose in action. Always. Same, like I said, no, no such thing as a bad Pete Rose card either. Those cards are very valuable. Very valuable. His rookie card, what, 63? I mean, I remember even as a kid, that Pete Rose card was like, you know, untouchable. It was like three grand or something, I remember correctly, when I was a kid. It's crazy how much it was. 
So I'm not sure what it's going for today, but I can only imagine what a gem. I don't think I've ever seen a gem mint. Pete Rose. I'll have to look online and see if there's ever been a PSA 10. I'm sure there's been maybe one or two, right? There's always one or two floating around there, but I haven't seen it. But all right, here we go. Pack 34. This is going to Steve A. Steve A, pack 34. After this, we only have two more packs to go. So we did hit Lee Smith. That was a big rookie we're looking for. Uh, it's not going to be unfound Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken is the the one you want to hit. I mean, that's the, the chase card in this, but, you know, just the 82 tops, you think, Cal Ripken. But make no mistake that Lee Smith, man, just like a reliever comes out of the bullpen like Lee Smith, he is coming in hot. So, that's a nice card to add to your collection. Um, might be worth even getting graded. I think I might get that graded if I owned it. It's in that good of a condition. Um, I don't think it's a 10 because 10s are just so hard to... Raleigh Fingers, there you go. Tony Perez, but it could be a 9. Oh, could be a 9 or an 8 even. Uh, Nolan Ryan, here we go again. This is our second time we hit him tonight. Steve A. Beautiful Nolan Ryan card. Base card. Centering is pretty good. A little top to bottom, but corners are perfect. Back is perfect. Beautiful card. Congratulations on that. Nice. That's second Nolan Ryan we hit tonight, so I'm happy about that. Ken Singleton All-Star. Bob Clark. Bill Buckner. Rest in peace, Bill. Another one that signed it on the side like that. Gary Lucas. As we hear some thunder outside. Um, are expecting some thunderstorms, and they're coming in. Uh, where I live here. Daryl Porter. That was his sticker card. All right, Leon Roberts. Oh man, it's another future. Get my heart racing. Whenever I see that Von Hayes checklist, Pat Putnam, Daryl Thomas, Ricky Henderson, league leader. That's a cool one. Stone base. Look at that. Tim Raines and Ricky Henderson. Tim Raines in '81 set the the, the rookie record, right? It was '71, and Ricky had uh, just an off year for him. '56. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, that was an off year, trust me, for Ricky Henderson. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Steve A. Very nice, Steve. Very nice. Nolan Ryan, I mean, pff, beautiful card. Might want to get in contact with Jonathan H. after this. That's two Nolan Ryans. So whoever hit those Nolan Ryans, get in touch with Jonathan. I'm sure he'd love to have those cards. Or at least he'll make a deal with you, maybe. I don't know. I'm sure you have that card, Jonathan, but I'm sure you wouldn't mind an offer, right? Early, a trade of some sort, maybe. Anyway, speaking to Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan, you were one pack off from that Nolan Ryan. Sorry. There he is, Jonathan H. I had Autistic Family. One of my MVP Patreon members. Um, congrats again, Jonathan, on your channel. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I really do. I'm just so, so impressed with it. Um, and this is our second to last pack. So here we go. Second to last pack. And I have... Here. Nobody have a note on top, but let me see here. Get rid of the pack. And let me get rid of the gum on the back. I've definitely been lucky with the gum, too. I don't think we've had um, gum stuck to any valuable card thus this point. I don't think we have. Maybe one. Somebody might have got an old Ryan. No, it wasn't an old Ryan. Anyway. Larry Boa, Suter, what did I go through this? Uh, Jonathan, yeah, Jonathan's. Mike Torres, Dyer Miller, Reggie Jackson, there you go. And here's another one. I was so surprised when I went on PSA. I always like to look and see what some of these, this card was worth like, like around $600 or something um, in the PSA 10. So I think it's just, it's hard to find them. But this card's in such great shape. It's almost perfectly centered. It's, it's, it is a little off left to right. But this is definitely at least, again, I'm not a professional grader, but when I look at these, and I've had a lot of my cards graded, I would say this is easily an 8. Easily an 8, and it's pushing a 9. It could be an 8.5 because the back is well-centered. So, Jonathan, I, I think you, you get cards graded, I think, right? You get them slabbed, so it might be worth looking into. I don't know if you already have that card graded or something you can compare it to, but maybe look online, see what other people's graded cards look like. Keith Hernandez, the Cardinals, but... That's a beautiful looking card. Davey Lopes. Just like a few of those, a, few, a bunch of those Hall of Famers tonight. 
The only thing you'll get hit on with any of these cards, um, you know, if you get them graded, is, oh, here's your sticker, by the way, which is a Hall of Famer, Willie Stargell, is the centering. Because the colorings and everything on these and the corners, you will never, you won't get dinged on those. Because they're perfect. These are mint cards. They really are mint. But, um, I mean, maybe the coloring on one or two of them, I think the Johnny Bench had a little watermark. But the centering is the only thing that you'll probably get dinged on when it comes to the grading. But, you know, you can always add that as a qualifier or whatever. You can, if you're someone that gets cards graded, there's definitely a few in here that I would recommend. If I owned them, I'd get them graded. Um, again, that's just me, so. Okay, we're down to our very last pack of the night. Look at this pack over here. Let's go in the box. I'm just getting rid of some of these wrappers. Got laying around there, boxes, okay. Pack 36 is Daniel H. Daniel H. And here we go, Daniel. This is your last one. Let's see if we can get Cal in the last pack. Last pack. Come on, Cal. Maybe Lily Lee Smith. Maybe he's just a Hall of Famer. I don't know. We'll take anything, right? Come on. Let's put Daniel up here. Get that gum off. Go, Daniel. Alright. No young blood. There. Any good win. Bob Forsh. Don Baylor. Nice card. Has the record for being hit the most times. All time record. Dennis Eckerly. There you go. Hall of Famer. Boom. With the Red Sox. Kim Landrell. Buddy Bell. Your sticker card, Luis Salazar, the Padres, in action, Ron Say. I see a checklist. Uh, Dick Tidro, remember that card. Mike Scott, very nice card. Uh, nice league leader here, or team leader, Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. And looks like we are not going to get the Cal Ripken Jr. in this one. Well, we tried. We did get Lee Smith, though, which is just a great, great card. So, you guys, thank you very much for those that bought in. Uh, a lot of Hall of Famers going home to you guys. Some really nice cards. Appreciate you being with me for this break. I am going to get this sealed, and I'm going to grab my laptop. You give me one second. Um, I don't want to leave you with, like, dead air, so I'll leave this pack here. <laughs> Just so you see something. Oh wait, I'll leave you with my, I don't leave you with my dragon. There's a story behind this and I'll tell it one day. But here's my dragon. And you will hear it beeping. And as many of you know or don't know, I am in a wheelchair. So let me just, I gotta wheel out of here for a second, grab my laptop, bring it right onto the desk. I have the randomizer already set up. I just need to bring that over. So bear with me in a second. Here. Now we just gotta get the laptop set up real quick and we will get this underway. Again, just bear with me. This may take a second or two. Talk to the dragon. If this takes too long, you might see a pause in this and I might have just decided to pause it and edit the, uh, the, 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 the giveaway. I think this might work. All right, give me a second here. Get this to square up my wheelchair here. One second. All right. Got the chair parked. Let me get the laptop. Let me get these guys out of the way. Thanks for keeping them company. Your job is done. Daniel H., let me get your pack over here in the box. All right, here we go, guys. So, here's what I'll do first. Let me just quickly show you. Loosen up my counter here. I'm gonna show you the boxes that we are, you're gonna win. One person's gonna win all four of these boxes that you see behind you, or in front of you. <laughs> There's a Stars and Stripes, 
it's a retail uh, blaster box. Got uh, eight cards per pack, five packs in the box, and you're gonna find there's five autographs in there. You got a uh, 2017 Series One blaster box, ten packs, and you got a Don Russ with uh, 80 cards per box. And in the corner over there, we have a 2017 Topps Update Series um, hanger box. So, got some really good boxes there for you guys. And you're going to get all four. The winner gets all four of those boxes. And I'll send them send them to you with um, with your card. So, all right, let me get my laptop set up here. Uh, actually, I meant to ask you, too, the, these giveaways that I'm doing, if you um, you know if you get any good pulls, like good, good hits in, the, in these boxes I'm sending, these free giveaways... If you could just let me know, I'd love to hear like what you're what you're getting. You know, I'm assuming people are getting some decent hits from some of these giveaways because we're giving away like entire boxes, hobby boxes and stuff. So I'm hoping you guys are getting some good hits. Um, but I'd love to know what you're getting. You can share them with me or the group or whatever. Maybe just subscribe if you don't already and let me know. Yeah, well, obviously you subscribe, but maybe leave a comment. All right, here we go. There is the list. Oh, it's actually it's perfect. In fact, I don't really need to even... That's pretty cool. Okay. Well, I'll show you the list. So, everybody's on this list that bought into this break. Okay? And your name's only on here once. So, even if you bought more than one, um, just in fairness, I just put everybody's name once. And then what I'm going to do is going to randomize this five times. Okay? Five times. Actually, let me let me move it up so I don't have to... Here we go. All right. Let me just do this. This way you don't have to worry about um, moving the camera up and down for you. So let's do this. There's the list, okay? So this order means nothing. The only order that's going to matter is the last one. I'm going to do it five times. So here we go. Randomize once. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Randomize once. Okay. Uh, this is number two. Number three. Number four. Again, here we go. This is the last one. The name that goes up here, number one, wins all four of those boxes. Good luck to everyone, and thanks again for being here tonight. Chris W. Chris W., congratulations, Chris. You are the winner of all those boxes I showed just before. Um, I really appreciate everybody being here again. Hope you join me um, Friday night. If you haven't bought in, there's a couple teams available at this time of this taping for Prism, uh, Panini Prism 2019. A few sets, please check out the link below for that. And that's it. All right, guys, listen, thank you very much, and happy chasing.